Welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us look into types of fire insurance policies. In the previous video, we learned fire insurance. Now, let us look into types of fire insurance. There are different types of fire insurance policies. Some of the popular are first one valued policy. Under this policy, the value of the property to be insured is determined at the time of taking the policy. In the event of the loss, the fixed amount is payable irrespective of actual amount of loss. The measure of indemnity is not the value at the time of fire, but the value agreed at the inception of the policy. The amount fixed may be greater or less than the actual market value of the property destroyed by fire. Valued policy is recommended for costly products like handicrafts, jewels, rare pictures, etc. In which case, value of damage cannot be easily determined at the time of loss. Valued policy is advantageous to the policy holders. Second one, specific policy. This policy covers the loss up to a specified amount which is less than the real value of the property. Thus, it is popular as under insurance policy. The whole of the actual loss is payable provided it does not exceed the insured amount. In case of specific policy, value of the property insured has no relevance in arriving at the measure of indemnity. The insured sum sets a limit up to which loss can be made good. The insurer includes average clause in specific policy to check under insurance. Third one, comprehensive policy. Comprehensive policy as the name indicates covers losses against risks such as fire, theft, riots, civil disturbances, etc. Therefore, this policy is popular as all-in-one policy. It may also cover loss of profits during period the business remains closed due to fire. Here, one important point to be noted is that the comprehensive policy does not cover every risk. There may be exclusions. Premium for this policy is usually higher. Next one is floating policy. It is a policy which covers property at different places against loss by fire. Example, goods stored in two different warehouses. It covers goods in two or more localities under one sum assured for one premium. The properties are spread over various localities in different forms. The risk varies. Therefore, it is difficult to determine premium rates. This happens only when they have multiple storage houses, etc. Floating policies are useful to big industries, major business units, etc. The average rate of premium is determined on the basis of total premium payable. The floating policy contains average and also marine clauses. Average policy. A policy with average clause is called an average policy. The amount of indemnity is determined with reference to the value of the property insured. When the policy holder uh, takes the policy for lesser amount than the actual property, it is under insurance. The insurer pay only such portion of the actual loss on the basis of the value of the property. As the insurance is taken for less than the actual value of the property, policyholder gets claim in the same proportion. The average clause works only in case of under insurance. Usually to avoid uh, high premium, they resort to this. First class policy and excess policy. Some merchants deal with huge stock which is more floating in nature and stock comes in and goes out very frequently. In such case, manufacturer cannot take po specific policy for the stock. Quantity of stock is continuously changing. If he takes policy for more than stock, he has to pay extra premium unnecessarily. If the policy is for less stock, he may not claim for total loss on the event of risk. Under such conditions, he can take two policies first loss policy and excess policy. First loss policy covers minimum stock balance below which it never falls. He can take another policy for stock above the minimum level. Premium is calculated on an average monthly excess amount. Usually premium is less on these policies. Other kinds of policies. There are several other kinds of policies popular are 
declaration policy, adjustable policy, maximum value with discount policy, reinstatement policy, consequential loss policy, sprinkler leakage policy uh, etc. under fire insurance policies. That is all in this video.